My name is Jonathan Fong. I teach AP Chemistry at Lowell High School in the San Francisco Unified School District. My school is an academic magnet school. Uh, it is an urban public high school in San Francisco and we have 2,800 students in our school and they have a choice of various classes that they can take, APs, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And so my students have chosen to take AP Chemistry and so they are uh, very interested, very involved, and very enthusiastic about the curriculum uh, in terms of chemistry. This is my second ISME fellowship that I've held. Uh, the first one was at UC Berkeley in the Mass Spec facility, and the most recent one this year was also at the Mass Spec facility. During my fellowship, what I did was generate a lesson that, was, that would incorporate the gas chromatography and mass spectrometry machine to uh, basically outreach to high school students. In today's lesson, you'll see my students taking a sample of soda and adding some deuterated caffeine to it. The deuterated caffeine is used as a standard so they can compare the concentration of caffeine that's really in their soda and comparing it to the known concentration of deuterated caffeine. Uh, what they'll do is they'll wash the caffeine out of the soda with isopropanol or basic rubbing alcohol, something that you can buy at the drugstore, uh, something easily obtainable. And they'll do three washings with the isopropanol. They'll take the isopropanol uh, out and the isopropanol will have the caffeine. They'll take the caffeine and put it into a small microvial and those microvials we will ship off to UC Berkeley and then the mass spec facility will analyze those and send us the results and then my students can do the calculations to find out what the actual content of caffeine is in their soft drink. What's different? Integrating something that they can actually tangibly see that they use every day like a soft drink. A lot of the stuff that we do in chemistry is abstract but here they can actually see it hands-on and they can see the data and see for themselves what's going on and observe the tangible results of something that might affect them on an everyday basis. My name is Brian Nguyen and I'm in grade 11. Scientifically, I thought it was really interesting how we can use certain chemicals to dissolve other chemicals even though they can't dissolve in things like water. Like caffeine can't dissolve in water, but it can dissolve in the alcohol. So we can use that to extract it. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I think I was kind of surprised that when you were supposed to pipette the top layer of the solution to get the caffeine out, you, it's not just the top layer, like the brown tint, which was the caffeine, but all the isopropyl alcohol that was added in there. So you have to account for like the minute amounts that didn't flow to the top. It had the sense of urgency that wasn't present in our previous labs, because we knew that we had to make it as accurate as possible because we were actually sending it to an actual lab for analysis and everything. So that was kind of nice. My name's Terry Ha, and I'm in 12th grade. I learned that the caffeine, it looks a little bit like oil because when I looked at it, they had little oil cells. I really thought that this lab was more interesting than the other ones because we actually saw the caffeine extracted from the soda and normally we don't get to see that in real life. And I really like to see what's in my drink before I drink it now. <laughs> My name is Jonathan Yoon and I'm a junior. I thought it was pretty interesting because compared to previous labs, it was a lot more precise in terms of the pipette usage. My students are very interested in what's going on. Why does the isopropanol separate on the top as opposed to the soft drink being on the bottom? They can relate the density of those two liquids. Uh, they know where the caffeine goes. It goes to the isopropanol because of intermolecular forces or polarity. Just being able to kind of have that light bulb turn on and making those connections between what they've learned in the textbook and what they've been taught in class. Even though they might not physically be able to see on a molecular level what's going on, they do know that this is really what's happening or they can assume that this is happening based on their prior knowledge. It gives me you know, experience into uh, working together with people in the laboratory, other experts in the field of, in this case, gas chromatography and mass spectrometry. ISME, I would say, if you had the chance to do an ISME fellowship or to participate, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. ISME is one of the best professional development, and I don't want to say that just like everyone else says it, but uh, it is one of the most helpful professional developments I have ever experienced.